Bruchem Abayim B'Shem Hashem. Bruchem Abayim B'Shem Egin Shir Termas is Boston. I'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's Shir. All the men came to the shul and all the Noshim and Ezra's Noshim and all the thousands of people listening on the phone and, and watching in the stream. Bruchem Abayim. I'd like to give a big yeshikach to Mr. and Mrs. Dov Nirenberg for sponsoring tonight's Shir. I'd like to give a yeshikach to Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Tesla for the support for tonight's Shir. Lili Nishmas. Rabbi Rom ben Chizkiyo, Olav Hashalom, and Rishon Necha Beila Bas Rav Osher Zelig, Olav Hashalom. To have the great schus of sponsoring a shir, call Irgun Shir at Tara 718-851-8651 or email ist at yeshivanet.com. Tonight we have the covered half of us, the Roshiva HaRav HaGoyin, Rav Leo Brudni Shlita, Rosh Hashivin Yeshiva Smir, Mechazakos, Yoni Diyemel, Yoni Tishabov. It's my cover to call on the Roshiva for tonight's Roshan. Russia about Tishabov has very um, is a big responsibility. One could think was Kamen Shemin of Tishabov. What wasn't said? It's a day that all we do is say Kinnis listen to Haftoris, Megillus Eicha, some people twice, some people once. And our actions are in Gans and Fanumim with the evil of Tisha B'Av. But there's one sentence in the kinnis of Tisha B'Av that makes the Avodah Sayoim every year very daunting. I think the Lashon is Kihutas Vechihudash. That was crumbled and broken apart, the Beis HaMikdash. Espoid Bechol Shona Mispeit Chodosh. Every year is a new Hespit. Even though the Chayra is the same text. We say the same kinnis. We say the same echa, same nachim, same after of osay fasifim. Upper it's bechol shana and same kisoyled banim. Batsalo cha umitzaucha kol advarim oeila ba'achus hayomim. Everything. Espit bechol shana mispeit chodosh al hakodesh v'al hamikdosh. And it's really a double lashon. Ala mikdash probably means the mikdash literally. Ala kodesh means every year that we're further from the base of mikdash, the kodesh in Klal Yisrael is down. The kedusha of Klal Yisrael recedes Rachman al with every year further in Golos. And every year is deeper and deeper in this Kolinu Meyatseinu, in this Rachaktu Meyalad Moseinu, Veina Nachtu Yechoilim. So, obviously, the mitzvah Sayoim is to a new, a new insight, a deeper understanding, an understanding that as of till now we haven't fully grasped. And the, and the Mekoinen seems to say that that's the Avoida Sayoy, a mispeit chodosh. I think I heard this once from Ramatis When he said this over, he said this is understanding it on a level that you didn't understand it before, having insights to it like you didn't have before. Mispeit chadash ala koydish v'ala mikdash. (coughs) 
one of the deepest enigmas and difficulties and mysteries of Tisha B'Av is this paradox, this seeming contradiction between the Ba'oymek HaBechi Ve'ahespid of the Yoim of Tisha B'Av, the Avelus of Tisha B'Av. It begins with the Aninus of Tisha B'Av. Like the Gemara says, Sudam of Sekes, is doime kemisha meso imuta lefonav. Rabbi Yudha be Rabbi Loi sat between the Tanur and the Kirayim, Kitan Shalmayim, and a Paschareva. And the doime olav kemeso imuta lefonav. And this is a boss of Yayin of Suda Samav Sekes, which is Medina de Gemara. We keep boss of Yayin in the nine days, but that's only a chumra. The Ikka is a boss of Iyayin is the din of Suda Mavsek, is that in the Suda of Erev Tisha B'Av, you're not supposed to partake in boss of Iyayin. What's boss of Iyayin? Where does this whole thing of boss of Iyayin come from? Teretz is Mesa Mutal Afonav. An Oinin is also the boss of Iyayin. The Gemara in Shvuis and the Gemara in, uh, in Medorim, that there's such a, there was such a nether by Yidin. Had a private yard site. I realize Shaloyochel boss of a loyesh to Yayin, Kiyoim Shemez by Abba, Kemoim Shemez by Rabbi. It seems that in the original day, when a father died, Rachmon Alitzlan. So even though there's an Issa boss of a Yayin, Mitzad the Din of Oinen, but what happens after the Kvura? when it transitions from Aninus to Avelus. And then there used to be a minig vaistois. There used to be makabul beneder. There used to be makabul beneder not to eat vasaviyayin. For the day of Meiz Boyabo. And in, and, and in the years of yard sites, commemorating it, people used to make nadorim that there was a nether on the Yom Shemez Bayovim, and he said, My this day should be like the day of Yom Shemez Bayovim. So the Basaviyayan of Sudam of Sekes is because a Yid is expected to reach a level at that moment of Mesai Mutalafon, at that moment to grasp the totality of our emptiness, of a nuttal cover in the base chayenu, what it means not to have a base amigdash, what it means to be in golus beina umois, what it means, oilahem lebonim shegolu me al shulchan avien, what the significance of that is. So in the moment, in the moment when Tisha B'Av is beginning, Meisoy Mutolofonov, Doime, the Gemara says, Rabbi Yudha Beri Loi, Doime Olof Ke Meisoy Mutolofonov. We take off the paroiches, we dim the lights, we Yoshev Al Akarka, which is supposed to be Mitztayer in the, in the way we sleep, based on the Avelos, we have to sleep on a stone, or at least not as comfortable with pillows like we are usually. The Avelos is, is very tangible, very palatable. <coughs> there used to be in the that brought in the Bish Yosef Vistana, or in the Torah, or in the Bish Yosef, that the, you got a, if a person got an Aliyah, Tishab of mourning, he made a Baruch Dayana Emes. And this was reshoying him. That when he was Oyla La a person used to make Baruch Dayana Emes. We don't do it. But it's a mini, mini reshoying Baruch Dayana Emes. It was, it was real. It was Mim Noch Gezen. I still saw growing up Yidin crying, crying, crying 
ממש אמס אמס אבל, אמס הבכי ומספיית. ויקרא השם לבכי ולמספיית. I still saw such Eden. So such a But well, you, as the Golas continues, so there's this concept of Ein Psara Meis Margish Beizmo. Our Chius, we're so spiritual, sp- spiritually not alive that what generations before us felt terrible pain. To us, it's, uh, it's all as I get this. But the Teshub of the evil of Teshub has historically been a bitter, bitter day in Cloud Yisrael. People want to zoof him with Nea Mokoy. Nobody forgot and gave each other a greeting on Teshub. People lived the Teshub. People lived the Tisha B'Av in the sense that you didn't greet someone. Not because the Allah is Oyser Sheilas Shalom. Of course. But who, who's, who's in the mood? It's dark internally. So that's an aspect of Al Churban Beis שהודש וחיוכי הוטץ, אספוד וחולשון המספית חודש על הקודש ועל המקדוש to try to rekindle, to rekindle that old fashioned יידש ההרגש. אוי לו הם לבונים שגולו מעל שולחן אביהם. To feel the misery of נצרחקנו מעל אדמוסנו. Of Golinu Me'artzeinu. But that's one side of the Avoid of Tisha B'av. There's a total other side to the Avoid of Tisha B'av. This year, Tisha B'av is, we fast on Moitzah Shabbos. So Shabbos by Mincha is Shabbos Shechol by Tisha B'av, and it's Erev Tish above the day we fast. So the first thing is we don't say Sit Koscho Tzedek. Every Shabbos we say Sit Koscho Tzedek. Tzedek Adin. Yontif, Rish Choydish, Chanukah, Erev Purim. We don't say. We don't say Sit Koscho Tzedek. Tish above, we don't say Sit Koscho Tzedek. We're not going to say Sit Koscho Tzedek. Come in the morning, Shachris, we don't say Tachnun, no Nefila Sapayim. The only Tainus among all the Tainiyas that we don't say Avinu Malkeinu is Tisha B'av. We don't say Tachnunim. Lam Natseyach Nizma L'David Yancho Hashem B'yoyim Tzara, which on many Erev Yontavs we say, Tisha B'av not. Tishabov, how could you say Yom Tzorah and Tishabov? Tishabov is a Yom Tzorah? Chazal say, the Rishonim and the Mishulchan Aruch say, Tishabov ikri moyed. The Gemara calls Tishabov a moyed. It's a Yom Tif. How could you say Tachna? Where exactly the Gemara calls Tishabov a moyed is a little complicated. But I think the Pshat goes like this. The Mishnah says that Tisha B'Av coincides with the day that the Miraglim returned and that Kalal Yisrael cried that night, and the Gemara says in Tainus, Tisha B'Av night was the night that the Klal Yisrael cried a Bechia Shalchinam. They read into the story of Miraglim that the Rebbeinu Shalom wanted to hurt them, wanted to destroy them, which wasn't true. 
is gebliven l'doyris, abachil l'doyris. That we, we, we cry on the night of Tisha B'Av. But the Gemara asks, according to the Cheshbon, then the Meraglim didn't return after 40 days. Because from the day that the Meraglim left, till Tisha B'Av is only 39 days. And for the Gemara, that that year, there were two days with Shchai Deshav. Come on, never is there two days with Shchai Deshav. Shchai Deshav, Tammuz is always 29 days, a chaser. That year, Tammuz was a mole. And there was a first day with Shchai Deshav and a second day with Shchai Deshav. That one time in history. And on that, the Gemara says, Shteta Pasik, Kora Alai Moyit, which the Gemara in Erchen learns out that with Shchai is a yontif. Karolai Moi, the Abishta created a yontiv of Vishchaidish extra so that Tishabov should come out and the Miraglam should return on Tishabov. Karolai Moye Lishbois Bachura. And from that we learn out that Tishabov is called a Moyet. Shat. Teret says the Avishta created a day of Yantif so that Tishabov should coincide with the return of the Miraglam. Gemara. Today that the Tisha B'av should be coincide with the day of the Miraglim, the return of the Miraglim, the Rebbein Shalom called Tisha B'av, made a moyed of an extra day of Shchaydish. So we see that the, the Chorban is commemorated with a Yontif. In order to have the Chorban aligned with the Miraglim, they wish to create a Yontif. That when Koral I moyed. It's from them, Ruf Tzachan Tishabav Ikri Moyed. So what, what does that mean? It's a bitter day. It's a dark day. It's the darkest day. And on that day, it's incumbent of us to have a mispeit chadosh, to see the darkness even more, even more, even deeper to see the darkness that we're enveloped by. But it's a yontif. It's a moyet. So there are the Dalim that learned that it's not really a day of celebration like yontif is supposed to be. Nor meloshen v'noyadeti. It's an izvadus. We, we get together with the Rebbein Shalom. So yontif, we get together with the Rebbein Shalom in joy, in rejoicing. Tishimov, we get together with the Rabbi Nishalaylam in lamenting what we don't have. Azim Gedolim Gelarent. Could be it's one that tells the Rosh Hashiva said it. I must have heard it from Rav Gifter, but it's from his Rebbeim, the Rebbeim, Rebbeim. But that's not Pashib Shat. There are Sforim that say even more. Pishabov is the day that the Rebbein Shalom, who is the Baal Neurech, Eivishter is the Baal Neurech of Kal Yisrael, Ishech, Baalech. When did we part ways? Asorim Asoyis, Nosa Shechina. The Shechina made ten, ten ways out of Yerushalayim, left us. Shechina Akdosha didn't reside anymore like it resided with us during the time of the bias. Yes, there is a Olam Eloi Zoza Shechina, but the real Ashwa says Shechina B'Tachtoinim left. So this is an halacha. When a husband leaves town, and leaves his wife at home, and he goes away on a business trip or whatever, so there's a chiv, al pi alocha, to leave and act affectionate prior to the leaving or at the time of the leaving, and an extra measure of affection. A yoyt salat derech has a different responsibility to be misameach as 
Malchus of the Yara is like Malchus of the Shmayim. The Eivishter asks that from us, he acts that way himself. So Tishabov, which is the day he left us, and we commemorate every year that day, so the day he left us, there was an extra measure of closeness. That closeness is the Moyet. Because there was a, there was a, there was a, a Kiruv Vishas the Richuk. And Vivaldi was a Kiruv Vishas the Richuk. The whole door of a door. Every year we commemorate that Kiruv Vishas the Richuk. We look for Kiruv in the Richuk. And that's the Moyet of Tisha. So stated under as far. But I think one could ab- approach this al peep shot. So understand this concept al peep shot. The original Tishabov's origins was Bechia Shalchinam. That's in Parsha Shlach. In Parsha's Devorim, the Torah elaborates about the Bechia Shal Bechinam with a different language. And the Torah says, Vateirognu bio aleichem. You stayed in your, you were in your tents and you complained against HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And you said things about HaKadosh Baruch Hu that were not true. You said, B'sinas Hashem Oisonu, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is leading us to this disaster of going into Eretz Canaan because he, ha- he has a dislike for us. He's our adversary. He took us out of Mitzrayim to set us up to this destruction of Yudei the Canaanim. The Sipuna says, why does he hate us, did we say? Because we were if they avoid the Zara. Because we were the children of Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. And in Mitzrayim, after 210 years of assimilation, we came to a Madrig of Avoid Zara. And we did Cheshbet Nefesh. We didn't say he doesn't, we didn't deserve it. We took ownership on that Avoid Zara. So we looked at this story. The Abisha took us out of Mitzrayim. He was Korea the Yamsuf. He gave us the Torah on Har Sinai. He gave us the Mon for 40 years. He gave us the Be'er Shem Miriam. He gave us the Amud Anon, the, the Anani Kovit. Miracle after miracle after miracle. But all this was a setup. We're going to go into Canaan and they're going to destroy us. Why? Because B'Sin HaShem Oisanu, that we, he took us out, B'Sin HaShem Oisanu Laham Yisainu Ba'Midra, because we were not worthy of his affection and love. We, we squandered his ahava. He became our adversary. He became our soina. That was the Bechiyah Shalchino. How could you look at the Rebbeinu Shalolam? How could you look at the Rebbeinu Shalolam as anything less than the Oyev Nemon? That someone who loves us endlessly, unconditionally. And here we did a cheshben anefesh that the Rebbeinu Shalom Kiva Yochel is acting cruelly with us. He's, he's, he's taking revenge in a cruel way. Because he's our soina. And that was the Terrible, terrible chet of Leil Tishabov of the Meraglim. And if the Oynish of Chet Meraglim was that we have to spend thousands of Tishabovs in Golos atoning for that first night, Ani Ek Valachem Bechiel Adoris, that Bechiel Adoris has to somehow bring us to a place. Which is a tikkun on that v'chiyah shalchino. That v'chiyah l'doyris has to bring us to a place 
that instead of Resilas Hashem Oisonu, in all dark Matzavim, we have to find the Hava of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. In all the Hestapanims that we go through in life, collectively and individually, we have to find that Ur. We have to see the Ur Godel of the Eivishta. The Ahava Bulimit Sarim of the Eivishta. We have to understand that. There's a Pasuk in Echa. Is Biani Bam Roirim Ivani Lano. He gave me, he made me full of moror. And Yervani Lano, he gave me poisonous, poisonous um, growths, poisonous weeds. Stated Medvish, is biyani bam roirim, mash is biyani bam roirim belele pesach. He gave me a mitzvah moror in pesach night. Yervani Lano belel tishabov. Sok the Radal and the Redvish that Tishabov and Pesach are the same night. This Tishabov is going to be Moitzah Shabbos. If you remember, Pesach was Moitzah Shabbos. Pesach, this year Tishabov, I'm sorry, is Friday night. Pesach was Friday night. Pesach and Tishabov come out last year. Tishabov was Moitzah Shabbos. Pesach was Moitzah Shabbos. This year Pesach was Leil Shabbos, Tisha B'Av was Leil Shabbos. So there's some kind of connection between something about the mitzvah's moral that we do on Pesach to the mitzvah's matzah, to the mitzvah's avelos of Tisha B'Av. What's the connection? If you learn a little bit the inyonim of Pesach, There's a mitzvah's matzah that commemorates the cheiris of Pesach. There's a mitzvah's moror that commemorates the beforech, the shibut, the koishia shibut, the miserable shibut that we had in Mitzrayim. Pesach night, when we're mefarsim the nisim of HaKadosh Baruch when we're in the mode of Pasumi Nisa, we remember the tremendous Nisim of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the Vayoytzienu, the Vayoytzienu, Yot Chazokos, Vayonetu, Yoysis, and Moivsim. But there's another part to it, Avodim Oyinu, Vayoytzienu. It's not only to contrast. You know what kind of a Yotzienu it was? It was first a Vodemoyinu and it led to a Vayotzienu. No, it's not the whole picture. Because the halacha is first you have to do matzah, then you do more. If the whole idea was to contrast the Avodemoyinu to the Vayotzienu, you should first do more and then do matzah. The Teretz is no. After you ate the matzah and you internalized the nisim, the chasadim of Yetzirah Mitzrayim, then step back and review those, those years of misery. In hindsight, the Zelber Rebbeinu Shalolom that took you out of Mitzrayim with Tzot Nisim Galuyim, he made all that misery, all that koshi ashibu, the children in the in the in the Levainim, the children that Pari shechted to be able to bathe in the water. All the Shrek Lechigzeris. People sat shiver for children. Achmonol 
day after day after day, what it looked like, what Yidin and Mitzrayim went through, the tragedies, the, the rishis, the redifas. It, it was such a, such a level of redifa that it took a 400 year sentence and was able to shrink it to 210 years because of Koshi Hashim. Now that we got out of Mitzrayim, how do we in hindsight review that kufa of misery? That kufa of mishpat? That kufa of suffering? Don't we see in hindsight that it contributed to our redemption, to our geulos, nafshein, pedus nafshein? So not only are we giving a shevach v'hoida for the cheirus, for the v'yotzi'enu, we're giving a shevach v'hoida for the avodah mo'yinu. Because that miserable avodah mo'yinu contributed to the v'yotzi'enu. If those people would have realized because they went through that pain and suffering, that that's what's going to ultimately get them out of Mitzrayim, it would have been a different understanding. State in Medrash that obviously, while Claudius learned the Amuna of Pesach to the fullest, the Amuna of Yetzirah Mitzrayim, which is the foundation of our Amuna, the Mantiskaris, and says, Chomeris Mitzrayim, Koyo Mechayecha. Amuna of Yetzirah Mitzrayim, that's the foundation of Amuna. But this is a piece that obviously they didn't internalize fully. Because when it came to the Nisoyen of the Miraglim, after all that transpired in their history, they were able to look at the story and say, He's getting even with us for Avedah Zorah. He's our adversary. He's our son. Rahman al -Islam. That is the Tviya of Mechia Shalchinam. And on that we went through now thousands of years of misery, of Goyla Acha Goyla, of Harigis and Redifis and Ritzichis. We're all of how many million people? Historically, a Numa that began almost at the number we are today. The number of, of Klal Yisrael today isn't that much bigger than it was B'Sha'as Yitzhiya Svitzrayim. <laughs> How could it be? How could there be such a demographic? Where are all the Yidden? Where are the Yidden that we learn in the Gemara and Gittin about Betar? How many Yidin there were in Beitar, the, the Gumoi, Guzmoyes of, of the amount of people in Beitar by the Churban? The Territz is, we know where all the Yidin are. In the guest chambers, in the pogroms, over, over the millennia, they're machru, and we say it, Vihishomdo. Shalom Yechel Bluvad Oman Aleinu Lechal Yiseinu. It's to Ada Yoimazer. So, what's that for? That we should get to a massive, that we should be able to figure out that there's no such a thing as Mishpat. In Chesed Ashira, Mishpat Ashira. Oitcho Hashem ki onav tobi, the Novi says. Yashuv apcha techayeni. That's the Aftoyah we're laying on the last day of Pesach. We've never obviously come to this point. If we're still in, in Churban and we're still in Golos, we've never yet come to this point of Oitcho Hashem ki onav The minute Klal Yisrael arrives at Oitcha Hashem Ki Yonav Tobi, what's the next Pasik? 
הנה כל ישוע עשי אפתח ושאפתם מים וסוסה ועיני הישוע. So we're going and going and going searching for that moment. For a moment that we're sitting on the floor. When Kirayim Latanur, with a Pascha Reva, and a Kita and Shomayim, and it's Meisoy Moto Lefonov, and it's Yontif. Not it's Yontif, because we have to meet with the Eivishter. Not it's Yontif, because he has to give us a hug on the way out. It's Yontif because we get it. We've learned from history that the patch are what keep us going. The Yesurim, Atem, Nitzavim, Ayoim, Kulchem. So the deeper we feel the Churban, it's de the deeper we have to feel the Amun Apshuta that this Churban is what keeps us going. And let's share with each other a secret that we all know. Why are we here today? Despite the Churban or because of the Churban? Why are we around? Why is there a Klal Yisrael? Why is there a Klal Yisrael today? Despite the Churban or because of the Churban? Shtei Tumetum. In Shulchan Arsh you can find it in the Gra, but it's Tumetum, it's Gemaris, it's everything. Mizmali Asav. Elikim Ba'u Ga'im Nachlosecha. Fek the Gemara, Fek the Chazal. Mizmali Asav. Kinaliyosav was on the Chazal. She shafach hamoso yala eitzim v'alavonim v'lo shafach al bnei Adam. Matoivu oyalecho Yaakov mishkin oisecho Yisrael. Don't say mishkin oisecho. Say mashkin oisecho. The mashkinus that he took, otherwise he would have had to take the people. The Arachayim Hakadosh. You learn the Arachayim Hakadosh in Parshas Dvarim. That Moshe Rabbeinu couldn't go into Eretz Yisrael because we weren't ready for him to go into Eretz Yisrael. Because if he would have gone into Eretz Yisrael and built the base of Migdash, the base of Migdash would have been indestructible. And if the base of Migdash would have been indestructible, what would have been given for a mashkin, Zagdar Achaim HaKadosh and Pashas Dvar? So we would have had to go. So the Gam, that's his Taitches of Mordek of Pasuk and Pashas Dvarim, in the middle of the Chet Meraglim, Gam Bis Anef Hashem Viglalchem. Because of you, I couldn't go into Eretz Yisrael. Because if I would have gone into Eretz Yisrael, I would, you, the Beis HaMikdash couldn't have been taken as a Mashkin. A ganz cheshmen in the Arachayim HaKadosh. So when we talk about Tisha B'Av Ayantiv, that's why I think the Gros says the second half of the day, after the moment of Ayatzeh's Eish B'Migdash, which is in the second half of the day, the Kras Mincha, the whole Avelis recedes. We get up from our chairs, we get up and sit, and it, we don't keep men hugging, only Ikre Din. <coughs> Why? Because that's when it really, we were saved. Because that's when the Mikdosh came, that's when the age came in the Mikdosh, and that moment, Claudia soul was spirit. So how could we say, and that's why, that's the time when we in Spala Lala Nechama. Because the rebirth of Claudia soul is from the ashes of the Churban. That's not a cliche. The ashes of the Churban will preserve the Klal Yisrael. No. Kilo Chamosa. So, let that be the Mispeit Chodosh. Of course, we have to grasp it and feel it like we never felt it before and feel the loss and the pain and the anguish of Churban Beis HaMikdash, of Golos. But let's also understand 
that at the same time, all that transpires with Claudia soul in history, the pain and the Yasurim, and the sin of Summa Sa'ilam, and the displacements of the Golos, is all, all chesed. It's all coming from Hava. Chaz v'shalom to entertain for a moment that HaKadosh Baruch was our adversary. And the day on which to really be coined this paradox, this Yisoyit, is Tishabov. As we're sitting by Evel, as we're being Mekoinen, as we're st internalizing what we don't have, we also have to internalize that it's Yontif. Because what we do have, and that what we don't have builds what we do have. And that's, in general, for Gans Claudius so. But each person, Eval Yachid Asilach, Kol Echad V'Echad has to have his own internal Tishabov. And he has to look deep into himself. And we all have pain. Hefts of Oilum Azeh is Hest upon him. So it's a, it's a hidden world. Who Mi gever yichia, who who lives a life of bliss and, and and happiness. We all have what we have, but we have to be able to to see the chesed in it. Chayiv adam levarich ala rom ein atoyva. Everyone. And that's like the minig I mentioned before. That Claudi so used to have a minig that by Kriya Satori on Tishabov, they said, Die in Oemis. What's Die in Oemis? The Mishnah says, Kishem Shem Mivorech Ala Roa, Kach Tzirich Al Mivorech Ala Toiva. Kishem Shem Mivorech Ala Toiva, Kach Mivorech Ala Roa. That a Yid has to give a bracha on Tishabov for the Chorbin. I says, we're not on the Madrega. We don't live on that Madrega that we can give a bracha on the Chorban. Oh, but the mini cloudy soul in the Rishonim's times that we made bracha on the Chorban. Very interesting thing. The, the Gemara says, Shchaydish of Shecholiyos b'Shabbos. The Gemara says that the Avtoyre that we lay in on that Shabbos is Chotchechem Umoyadechem Sonu Nafshi. So this year we don't have such a cheshbon, but last year we did. Last year, Shchaydish of was on Shabbos. We don't do this. We do a different cheshben. We have three weeks of Puronios. The first week is the first peric in Yermia. The second week is the second peric in Yermia, Divrei Yermia, and then Shimut Vahasha. The third week is Yeshaya, Ulei Chazoin Yeshaya. But the Gemara says not like that. The Gemara says that when Meshchoidish Av is on a Shabbos, which is the second week, because then Tishabov is going to be on a Sunday the following week, still we lay in Chazon Yeshayo, because it says over there, Chodcheichem Umoyadeichem Son Nafshi. So Toysvis says why we don't do this. Toysvis says, Onu noya gin al pi apsikta. That the psikta does our thing. First week, Yirmiya, second week, Yirmiya, and the third week, Chazon Yishayo. But it's a very interesting Toysus. 
Toysa says, Onu noyagin al pi apsikta, and he goes off to a sequence of 12 weeks. Three weeks, Puronios. Seven weeks is what we know as the Shiva de Nechemta. And then two Aftoyris of Tshuva. One is Shuva Yisrael and one is Deshu Hashem B'yim A twelve Aftoyris sequence. That's really the Psiktis Seder Aftoyris for the summer. We start with the Shiva the Shloisha de Parnusa, we go through the Shiva de Nechemta, we go to two of Tshuva. But it's interesting. When the psikta, the Toysis brings the psikta against the Gemara, that's all irrelevant. The Shiva, the Nechemta, the Shtei Tshuf, and then he gets into a major machloikas or bein tam with another Bala if, if If you can't finish the Nechemta by Shabbos Shuva, what should you do? Should you push off Shuva Yisrael or you should finish the Shiva, the Nechemta? Agansim machloikas. What does that have to do with this Gemara? This Gemara is a simple Gemara that you lay in you have a psikta of Rav Kahana that many times Toysha Shita Megillah is. He uses the psikta of Rav Kahana and he goes against the, the Gemara. Fine, Machlaikas. I'm a Rayim and we Paschal like the psikta. What's it as given the Geir? The Gansa Maroch. I don't know. Al Derech Adrush. We just went through that the ultimate chet of the Miraglim was one word, Besinas Hashem son. What's the Shiva de Nechemta? To take out that Machsheves pigle from a Yid's heart. Nachmu Nachmu Ami. Atoy Metzina, so Vani Hashem, Hashem Shkechoni, Atishkach. The Abish still forget you. And then Anihosayaram. <laughs> and then Roni Akara. And then Kumi Oiri. And then Soy Sosis Bashem. What's the final one? Ukim Soy Sosan Al Kalo Yosis Olaya Khalikoya. Seven Nachams. Because we need a rehabilitation. We cried on Tisha B'av. We were miserable on Tisha B'av. And there's always the danger that we didn't properly internalize that antidote called Moyet. That Ikri Moyet. Because that's the most difficult part of Tisha B'av. It's much easier to cry and not be disturbed by the moyed, which is a contradiction, which is a, a, contra a tati de sasri. So, nay, 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 don't. It's dangerous to lay in on Shabbos of Rishchoydish. Chotcheichem <coughs> umayadeichem sono nafshi. Because it's going to interfere with the process. We're trying to keep a process that sinna is not part of the equation. Look how far the Chazal going, like the Psikta. Seven weeks of Nechama. And Rabbi Natan holds that the seventh week is a prerequisite for Yom Kippur. If you haven't managed it by the Shabbos before Yom Kippur, skip Shuva Yisrael, but do seven Nechamas. Because Nechama is so important for a Yid. The relationship between Knesset Yisrael and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the relationship between every Yochid Mi Yochid Mi Yisrael and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, has to be wholesome, has to be Gantz. We must understand how far the Eivish Tahotun sleep. We say in, 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 in Zmiris, you did nefesh of a Rachamon. The Abish says, you did nefesh. Do we have it? Internalize that? He's our, you did nefesh. In addition to being of a Rachamon, he's a, you did nefesh. And then we ask, 
Yerav lo yedid secha. Make it sweet to us that you're our yedid. Minoifes tzu v'chol toan. So maybe that's the remis. When Toysis argues with the Gemara, when he brings the Psikta, not to say, he replaces it with the whole Avona, with the whole Mahalach of the Psikta, how important it is to follow the Shloisha de Peronusa with Shiva de Nechemta. And only when you're finished with the Shiva de Nechemta, and we have a relationship of Ahava to the Eivishta. And we fashtay that the Eivishta is our Yedid Nefesh of Arachman. Then you could go do Tshuva on Yom Kippur. Only then. This is the Oymik of the Moyed of Tisha B'Av. Yantif. Yes, it's a Yantif. It's a Yantif that we're here to say the tale. We're here to tell the tale. We're here to, to, to learn Eicha again. We're here to say Kinnis again. And in Yitzhah Shem, Tzoy Machamishi, Yeyopech Lanu, L'sosin U'lesimcha O'lemoya Dim Toivim. And in Yitzhah Shem, even Ashona Azois, Ushi B'Zoycha, to the real Ikri Moyet, not Ikri Moyet, no, it should be a half a chlonu, lemoya dim toivim vim hair of your name. Shame, Irgin, she retired much as possible, like to be a shakai, or a shiva of Brudney, the inspiring Drusha, Sarah's Binyani Tishabov. Like to be a shakai to Mr. and Mrs. W. Nirenberg for sponsoring tonight's shear. I'd like to also give a shout out to Mr. Mrs. Aaron Tesla for the support for tonight's show. We wish you a Roman Hiskyo, Lava Sholem, and we wish you a Sayyisha Necha Beyla Bas, or a Rosh Zedek, or a Sholem. If I say you could have a schus in creating the conditions to turn Tisha B'Av into a Moed by sponsoring Shiurim of Irgun Shiri Taira, remaining Shiurim of the next five weeks of the summer, call Irgun Shiri Taira 718 851 8651. Or email ist at yeshivanet.com for this great schus. Abbas is a Torah de Rabbim. I should call to everyone for coming. We can only make a Hashem Rosh Hashanah Shabbos Lezakes. This is the Shalafigah Hebron Torah Mitzvah Shenemal and Echofes and Manzidka Yagdul Torah Viyadeh.